Hey everyone, today I have for you my third vlog at Calexico London. So also going to be my last one. So last week you saw me exploring the con for the first time, playing around with some unicorns and visiting some panels. Today I have something different for you. I was going about it the, the normal way and then I was ready for a Jamie panel and something else happened. You're all going to find out in this vlog. It was amazing. I have such good memories of this day. I don't have a vlog of Sunday because I, I was basically just stuck in a press room the entire day. And I had to, to leave at 3 p.m. because my flight was leaving early. So this is it for Calexico London. I do have one interview left for you, but that's gonna, gonna happen in a little while. I'm gonna keep that one for, uh, for later. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. That really helps me. It helps me continue to go to these cons and, and, and yeah, bring you this footage. Okay, enjoy. What a day. It just I immediately started off the press with the cat. And then I, uh, I went to uh, I Have a Query, which is very insightful. I was only there for a few minutes, but uh, it was good hearing the non-binary stories. You know, their backgrounds, how, do, how they discovered things in life. And uh, yeah, no, it was really good. And then later on, sorry, I hate being watched vlogging. I, I'm still very nervous about this. Um, someone was looking at me. Uh, so where was I? And then, oh, then was the Officer Hot panel with Kat. Jamie came. What an energy! And that woman, she was really nervous. Like she kept saying that. I was like, whoa. Uh, um, like I'm usually the one nervous, but it really calmed me down that she was nervous. I just loved just sitting there and watching her. Psychopath, or I mean, something you know, really true to who? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, why am I so nervous? <laughs> I had a few questions for her, but I just decided to do a follow-up question on the question that someone asked. It was, it was just interesting to go with the conversation, I think. And then we had the host team panel and Annie Briggs came, so that was fun. <laughs> like, Dana always has these reading scenes and I think they're hilarious. And at first they're like, what's gonna happen? And then they just go with it. I think it's fun. to the press room because they were coming to the press room afterwards and uh, I was able to ask one question so they just left and Jamie now has her panel so I think I'm gonna go there hey guys this is the perfect moment to start vlogging I'm actually I have just <laughs> I've just cried a little because um, this day ended so magically for me after the press conference with Natasha Elise and Annie. Everybody rushed off to the Jamie panel and I was kind of collecting my thoughts and so I stayed behind and then I went to the panel room is because I thought I'd join Jamie's panel but then I saw that Natasha and Elise and then Annie's autograph lines were a bit slow at that moment and I was really surprised by it. It took me a while to find it in me to go over it because 
I wanted to talk to Natasha. You know, her new movie's coming out and I'm doing a video about it. She actually remembered me from the Klexicon red carpet, which was like 20 seconds and I felt like an idiot. So then I was kind of like blown away with it. I was like, yeah, you're from Muffin Fest. So I told her, like, yeah, I just want to get the LGBTQ content out. And then I was talking to Holly from the organization. And so Natasha said, I don't want to talk about it here at the table because then other people might want to do the same. And I can't, you know, logis logistically, that's not a good thing to do. My agent isn't here right now, so I gave her my card to give to her agent. And then I started talking to Holly, and Holly started saying how much she loved my publications and that, you know, as an organization, they really liked what I shared. And so Natasha's agent comes over and says, like, hey, we can do an interview right now. And then Holly said, like, she's one of our favorite ones, so please, please do. I was like, oh, this is just too much praise. I can't handle this. So then I had an impromptu interview with Natasha, which was insane. Because of my nerves, I might have interrupted her in the beginning. So sorry about that if that happened. And then afterwards, I was just like, it's starting to sink in, you know, how amazing this all is. I'm so very grateful for this. Like I said, I, I finally get to work with my passion and it's it feels amazing so that's uh, kind of what's happening right now I'm a little emotional but I'm gonna go home now and edit the Tasha Elise and any interview I'm gonna release it so by the time that this video gets out you've already seen that interview and then trivia night I hope I'm gonna make it in time okay thanks so much